We need your help. Please, if you're in the United States and love or own ferrets or other exotic pets, not including dogs, cats, or farm animals, this video will matter to you. Please, please watch to the end. After I explain everything, I'm going to explain what you can do to help. On February 4th, the U.S. House of Representatives passed the America Competes Act. In this, there is a portion that can stop ferrets and other exotic pets from crossing state lines. So what does this mean? It means if this bill now gets passed by the Senate, if you move out of state, you can't take your ferret with you. This means you can't take your ferret out of state for veterinary care or specialists. And this directly will affect people like us who travel with their ferrets because our ferrets will no longer be able to cross state lines with us. While a lot of these things may not seem important to a lot of people if you never plan on moving out of state, but this may affect whether or not you'll be able to own ferrets in the future. Why is that? The vast majority of ferrets in the United States come from a few main breeding facilities, two of which being Marshall Farms as well as Path Valley Ferrets. Pet stores receive their ferrets from these breeding facilities, and these facilities are not located in every state. Meaning, unless this breeding facility and the pet store are both currently located in the state that you currently live in, you can't get a ferret. As for good ferret breeders, there are few and far between and not every state has one. So again, you wouldn't be able to get them through breeders necessarily either. While this bill has good intentions, it can have an unnecessary impact on those of us who currently own ferrets. Anyone who moves out of state or travels with their ferret would have to relinquish their ferrets to a shelter. Hang with me for just a little bit longer, we're going to get a little technical. The entire purpose of the America Competes Act is to strengthen the economic and national security of America. Within this bill, there are amendments to the Lacey Act, which would affect all non-domesticated animals and pets, which again means anything that's not a dog, cat, or farm animal. This amendment would ban any species listed as injurious from crossing state borders. This means species that can cause harm to the environment, industry, and health. While it may not seem like ferrets will fit this description, they're already legal in the entire state of California, the state of Hawaii, and even in certain cities like New York City. Since this bill is federal, so like for the whole country, they can take the stance that ferrets are considered injurious to these specific states as part of the reasoning against ferrets. There's also a part that would allow U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services to add a species not listed as injurious to the injurious listings immediately after just adding it to the federal register, meaning there would be no public input or advance notice for that species. So what can you do to help? This may be scary for a lot of people, but the best way you can help is by contacting your senators. I want to share something a little embarrassing about myself. I'm 35 years old and I have a hard time making a phone call to order pizza. No joke. Growing up, my mom did all my phone calls for me, including through high school. And now my wonderful husband does them all for me. But let me tell you, I will be making this phone call to the senators. I may have to write a script out about what I'm going to say beforehand, but I am going to call. Every state has their own two senators, which you can easily find by using this link here, which I'll also include in the description below. You can call them, write them an old fashioned letter and send it in the mail and email them. It can help a ton. And if you don't know what to say, that's OK. I'm going to link a wonderful site by the U.S. ARC or United States Association of Reptile Ke Keepers, which actually has scripts on what you can say on the phone, as well as a sample letter that you can use. Of course, personalizing things is nice, but it's not necessary. We do not want to be rude, but civil and kind and just stick to the facts, including things like the fact that all the pet stores who get ferrets get ferrets who are already neutered before they ever reach the pet store. Even getting from breeders, breeders usually will have a contract and in that contract with their ferrets, it usually will state that you actually have to get your ferret neutered by a certain age. Meaning if a ferret does escape into the wild and survive, it's not like they're reproducing and colonizing. Again, you can help by contacting your senators and even just by sharing videos like this one to anyone and everyone who might be affected by it. You don't even have to share my video. There's some other great YouTubers who did similar videos, including Tyler Ruggy from his channel, Tyler Ruggy, as well as Courtney from The Trained Ferret. And I'll link those videos down below in case you want to see their take on this topic as well. Sharing any of these videos definitely can help. So please, please help in any way you can so we can keep having our furry little noodles as pets. Thanks for watching.